Drachma's on board our ship. And along with Drachma, we get access to a blue moonstone. So now we have even more kind of magic. And woo! Man, Drachma takes a hit. Yep, now we have ship information. The ship value doesn't really have actually anything to do with it. There was going to be a mechanic in the game where you could buy and sell ships, but that never got put in. So yeah, you can see all the cannons it has equipped. Four cannons. He will need blue magic with his artificial arm. So let's head on through to the village. Is there anything up here? I can't remember if there's a discovery up here or not. Seems like the sort of place there'd be a discovery. Yeah, there's some fish above the clouds that I can't get. Yeah, Splat. Nope, no discovery. Yeah, stop. Discovery here. No. Now we got to see Drachma in battle. Yeah, Drachma's pretty high level at this stage. I don't know if we're expected to keep up here. Spirit moves yet? Uh, spirit moves? Special moves yet? Let's have everyone just pile on one person. Good thing I kept a couple of moonberries. Teach him some stuff. Whoa, frame rate! Come on, seriously. I don't know what's going on. Why that keeps dropping every now and again? There shouldn't be any reason for it. <laughs> Good hit, I guess. Only all fights were this easy. Oh! I drove to and from work today listening to the soundtrack to this game. I love it. It's such an underrated soundtrack. Jeez, Drachma. Experience much? Oh, no, no, I don't want to teach you anything. I want to teach Drachma. Tackle! I can't learn anything else yet. And through the tunnel. That's Sailor Island right there. I kind of do need some medical help. I can do it being healed for free, please. Oh, it's so cute. I don't remember this in the Dreamcast version. Here, take these things. Is, I remember the lens being in the Dreamcast version, but I can't remember how you get it.
Yeah, I really can't remember if this was in the Dreamcast version or not. So we can always just go straight back to Pirate Isle and get that one. Because there was one at the top of the ladder. We need to repair Pirate Isle first. Fish, can't get them. Are you what I think you are? Oh, no, you're a merchant ship, okay. Around here soon we should get to the first real meat and potatoes of the GameCube version. Yeah, a little sparkly thing above that chimney, that'll be a moonfish. I'm pointing at it, you can't see me pointing. Why am I pointing? He's obviously a, a Moby Dick allegory. Drachma has left the party. He does that. Some guys gossiping. First of all, Sailor's Guild. I made a discovery. You can buy hints to uh, other discoveries. Yep. Need to get closer. There's one up there. Oh, there's one there. That's the noise I need. The moonfish was cut. The truck arm started to move. There's a sailor who's clearly having a fit of the crazies. Oh, no, there's an hour I wanted to go. To go up here, I think. was in this because I remember having to go up here for some reason. Oh well, I won't worry about it too much. I'll just do it. Oh no, there's definitely there's a balloon here though. So many ladders. So much ladder. It must have been in the 
Top floor of the inn I had to go to. Ah, this was another part of the Dreamcast game that obviously you can't do on the GameCube. With the Dreamcast you had visual memory units. And there was a guy in here you could talk to and download a minigame. This guy. Pinta. And he would uh, go on little quests for you and recover, get items. Let's see what you've got to sell. Ooh, nice. Ooh. Hey, yeah, will must be magic damage, and magic is magic defense. I'm not getting much back for the, what I am selling. I need more gold. Hmm. Gives her magic defense. Is that enough to buy something? No, I need 450. I need another 120 odd gold. That's not a hint of what to do. Excellent. Is there anything around here to get? Kids probably wondering what the hell I just did. I know what black pirates are. Sixty gold to rest and recover. I shan't bother. I'm not exact. I could use the heal, I guess. It's cheaper to buy a sacri crystal. And this guy will. Occasionally pop up in places and have one or two things you can buy that are really expensive. But you know, only he will sell them. Yeah, this guy's rolling around because he's just so happy to be on land. 
I'm not gonna talk to the crazy guy. Let's just top up on the healing items. This is kind of the boring part. I could cut it out, but I'm not that nice to you. Twenty of those are probably enough. Once you get to the higher levels of healing magic, uh, the ones that can heal multiple people at once, etc., then it becomes a bit more um, economical, is the word I'm looking for, to, to use magic to heal instead of items outside of battle. try and steal this stuff. Let's go see what Drachma's doing. What do we think he's doing? He's drinking. Of course he's drinking. He's a salty dog. Oh, you sly dog, Ica. What did you say? Yes. Obviously. I feel like she's lied to him in the past, but I don't know. Of course, we'll have to work. noise going on outside my house. I don't know if you can hear that on the microphone. I hope not. Dracula has joined your party. Get used to this message. Right, now we need to find a passport. But we need to be able to pass ports. Now this shifty looking guy over here. He's looking very shifty. Oh, okay, maybe I can't do anything with him just yet. Oh no, the Sailor's Guild. Knows something about passports, I think. There's tucked in. Yes, cutscene. Is this the Sailor's Guild? Yes, it is the Sailor's Guild. I was just here. <laughs> That's a really silly question to ask, I guess. Yes, he does call himself a guild master. Shifty Merchant. I mean... Yay! Don't they have ID on them? Uh 
course we'll accept your offer. It's the only lead we have. Plus, I think we get to get into a ship battle now. Let's go! Kept you guys waiting for long enough. It's a bit slow to load sometimes. <laughs> I remember the Dreamcast one, because the GD ROMs were a bit slow to read. The dream cast would make a noise when you're about to get into a random battle, but it was only a, it was a couple of seconds after that that the battle would start. So when you heard the disc spool up, you were able to jump into the menu and do any last-minute stuff you had to. Let's go. That's obviously the uh, the merchant's ship behind us. Maybe we don't get into a ship battle. Maybe we just escort him to the strait. Yeah, we just escort him. <laughs> that was... Oh, no, here we go. Get to see ship battles. This was a lovely addition to the game. It's still turn-based, but there's a, there's a nice element of strategy involved. There we go. Yes, it'll tell you what's going on. Basically, I can do stuff in these turns. Get a focus. Okay, it takes spirit to fire a cannon. And Dracula's attack is stronger, so I'm gonna have him fire the cannon. Must we focus? I'll show you some more of the detail in the next turn. When it's green along the top, you're not really in a huge amount of danger that turn. The enemy may launch a standard attack, they may not launch any attacks. When it's yellow, you're in a bit of danger. When it's red, they're going to use a special attack. Our cannons are pretty strong actually compared to theirs, which is nice. I saw on their turn it said lost meant that where we'd moved to, uh, they lost sight of us, so they couldn't attack. Uh, your cannons also have a chance to miss on their turn, if, even if you do have them in your sights. There you go. So... I 
Maker will guard here. Drachma. Whoa. I don't know which of these is more powerful, actually. Let's use the, continue to use the main cannon. Don't really need to focus, actually. Should have just used a cannon. We had plenty of spirit. Probably shouldn't be so defensive. Yeah, it's kind of losing us this fight, being so defensive. <laughs> Tactical advantage, we blindsided them. And now here, because this is where they're going to use a special move, we take evasive action. Which is what the guard is. And it lowers the damage we take that turn. Hope that was the right thing to do. Yeah. There we go. Everyone just lay in it. You get tactical decisions like that, which will affect what you get in your next three turns. And because he doesn't have any cannons nearby that he can hit us with, all he can do is assess his damage. Must we do this? Bombard him. Ship battles play a big part as the game goes on. Yep, there's Blackbeard destroyed. You got no magic experience for ship battles, but you do get a lot of regular experience and a nice bit of gold. You get a captain strike which you apply to your ship and it makes it stronger. screen, which takes forever to load. No, you will not, Baltor. You're terrible. You're really bad at this sailing. We are really good at this sailing, and we'll continue on with this sailing next time. Goodbye.